Now we move on to the latest method that is the common or short division method. The method is exactly the same like HCF. There is no difference, but there are certain concepts that you have to remember for HCF as well as MCF. Now you must be wondering that when I am talking about least common multiple, every time I am referring to HCF. Yes, because they are interlinked. You either find highest common factor or you need find least common multiple in this entire chapter. So I am regularly referring to HCF just to make sure that you understand that what's the difference between them. So you do not want to do one method in the other and the other method in the one. Just for clearing your confusion. So now I am targeting common or short division method. And again just like HCF, common division method means I take all the numbers and commonly divide them using only prime numbers. Just that like we did in HCF. But in HCF what we were doing? We were dividing all the three numbers only if it was divisible by a particular common prime number. A prime number that commonly divided all three of them. But here we won't be doing that. I've already taught you this class. Uh, I've already taught you all this in class 5. Here we won't be doing that. If a number is divided, divisible by a particular prime number, I divide and I move further. You'll see this now the difference. Let's take the same numbers. The numbers that we have taken were 12, 36, and 48. I'm taking the same numbers to just show you that even when the method changes, the answer remains the same. Now, common division method means I take all the numbers together. Just like ACF. But in ACF, I divided a number. I divided the number the numbers by a common prime number and then I went to went on dividing but here in LCM even if one number is divisible by a prime number you divide and the other numbers come down they may all divide at a time they may divide one at a time let's see how this goes about remember children have some space between your digits so you can write the carry over with pencil or pen and decide the number so that you know how much you have carried it. All will be divisible by 2. So 2 6 are 12. 2 1s are 2. I am left with 1. I write that 1 here. Small 1 becomes 60. 2 8s are 60. And keep commas in between so that you have your numbers absolutely separate. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. Now again I ask myself. Any number is still divisible by 2? Yes, all of them are still divisible by 2. So I again divide by 2. So 2 3s are 6, comma, 2 9s are 18, comma, 2 1s are 2, and 2 2s are 4. Now, when I come to 3, 9, and 12, I realize that 3 and 9 are not divisible by 2, but 12 is still divisible by 2. If any of the three numbers, four numbers, five numbers, two numbers given is divisible by a particular prime number, you will still continue with that prime number till you can divide none of the given numbers by that particular prime number. So what happens to the other two numbers that are not divisible by that particular prime number? Now three and nine is not divisible by the prime number two. So what happens to them? They are copied down to the next level. They go down to the next level. So two 3 does not go, I copy down 3. 9 does not go, I copy down 9. But 12 goes, so 2, 6 are 12. Now again I reach a state where I can see that only 6 is divisible by 2. 3 and 9 again are not divisible by 2. So I will continue still. What will happen to 3 and 9? 3 and 9 will be copied down. Remember, this is the difference between HCF and LLCM. In HCF, only when all three were divisible, then we were dividing. Here, any one is divisible, you will divide, the other numbers are copied down. But the, the, but the pattern is going to be almost the same. You are still doing short division method. So, 2, 3 comes down, 9 comes down, 2, 3 is 6. Now, I cannot use 2 anymore because 3, 9 and 3 are not divisible by 2. So, the work of the prime number 2 is over. It's not required anymore. I go to my next prime number. Next prime number 3. 
all of them are divisible by 3. 3 1s are 3. 3 3s are 9. 3 1s are 3. Now I get 1 3 1. I am now left with 1 3 1. 1 is not a prime number. 1 is not a prime number. But 3 still can be divided by 3. So again what will happen? 1 will come down. So 3 1 will come down. 3 1s are 3. And 1 will come down. You will go on dividing till at the end you will get 1, 1, 1. That means you have factorized all of them. They cannot be factorized anymore. In all our factorization, some you've seen, when you factorize a number, at the end you will reach to number 1. That means you cannot divide or factorize that number anymore. So I divide all these three numbers, I factorize all of them with prime numbers as long as they can be factorized till I am left at the end 1, 1, 1 now what do I do? I multiply all the divisors these are known as divisors so the NCM will be I multiply all the divisors how many twos? 4 twos remember count to make sure that you have done the correct number of digits or the number that is being repeatedly multiplied so that you do not write one extra you do not write one less 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 how many 3 is 2? 1, 2 and the LCM now will be 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 8 twos are 16 multiply all the twos and get one number 3 threes are 9 multiply all the threes and get one number what will come in between? this multiplication sign and as we did in the previous video, 69 is 144. So two different methods, but the answer remains the same. Remember children, in LCM you go on dividing till you get 1, 1, 1. But in HCF, when you stop dividing, when none of the three numbers can be divided by a particular prime number. Or if you get 1 in any one of them. And I told you in my previous video. Yesterday's video. So if you get 1. Or you get numbers. That cannot be divided by any prime number. Then you stop. But in LCM you continue dividing. Continue dividing. Till you get 1, 1, 1. Those numbers that cannot be divided. Are carried over to the next line. For the next prime number to divide them. I hope you've understood. So this is the common or short division method. This also has to be copied into your notebook. I'll be sending a snapshot of this. Please do take good care of yourself. Look after yourself. Stay at home. Stay safe. And be of some help to your parents. Thank you.